Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTech. In this quick video I'll show you guys how you can delete an Outlook account or a Microsoft account. The first thing that you have to do is just to sign in at Microsoft Outlook and for that you just go over Microsoft.com login and once you're here you click over sign in. So let's sign in on Outlook. So this method works for Outlook accounts or Microsoft accounts which are not managed from school or from your work. If you have a Microsoft account or Outlook account which is managed from your work, then most probably your IT administrator can delete or deactivate an account like that. This is for standard Outlook accounts or Hotmail accounts or Microsoft accounts. So we sign in on Microsoft account or in Outlook. Once you have signed in on your Outlook account, then you have to go over your account manager so it's here at the corner on the right and once you have clicked over there you have to choose my profile if you see now the hyperlink have changed it's account.microsoft.com it's not anymore at outlook.live but is at microsoft.com and once you're here if you cannot see exactly what i'm seeing you just have to make sure to click over your info and once you are here then you have to scroll down till you go over account info and then you will see this option here which says close account we click over here and then it will show you a guideline how you can close your microsoft account and what's the consequences of that and if you are sure that you want to still close your microsoft account you just click over continue then you will be redirected at microsoft support page this page will inform you that by closing a Microsoft account, you will not be able to use it to sign into the Microsoft products and service you have been using. It also deletes all the services associated with this account, which includes Outlook.com, OneDrive files, Xbox Live data, etc. etc. In my case, either way, I want to get rid of this account, so I'm just going to click over continue with closing your account. Here it is, clean up your account. You will only have 30 days to cancel the closing of your account. So let's suppose that you canceled or you close your account and you are not happy with it and you want to recover. You have 30 days to regret this decision and you can cancel the delete of your account. Again, they recommend to take all your data that may be associated with this Microsoft account. I'll continue with closing the Microsoft account we just need to click over go to close your account below. So we just click here, close your account. So Microsoft is just making sure that, okay, are you sure you want to close it? Uh, these are the consequences of doing that, etc., etc. In my case, I don't have an alternate email address or a phone number assigned to this Microsoft account. So I'm just going to need to add quickly another alternate email address just to protect, let's say, this account just to make sure actually that it's me that is deleting this account. All right, once you have assigned an alternate email address, we we'll click over next. We have to enter that code. So let's open Outlook, the other account that I have. So here it is, Microsoft security code that I just received is this one here. Let's go back to the web version of the other Outlook account. So we click over next. Now Microsoft want to make sure that okay my alternate account is really the correct one so it's sending me again another code it just go through all these steps just to convince microsoft that yeah it's you that you are trying to cancel this account your microsoft account blah 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 continue all right so finally make sure this account is ready to close we'll click over next this account becomes unrecoverable 60 days after you close the account. After 60 days, you will lose access to any service that uses the account for signing purpose. You will lose access to all personal or organizational data stored by any Microsoft service, etc. etc. So all those things. Before you can mark your account for closure, you must review and select the following checkboxes to acknowledge that you have reviewed each of the most common account closure effects. So basically we have to choose all those because we have to agree that, okay, this will happen once I will close or I will deactivate my account. So select a reason. All right. My reason actually is just to make a video. <laughs> I'm combining Microsoft accounts. I use a different Microsoft account and don't need this one. This account was hacked. I no longer want any Microsoft account 
my reason is not listed. All right, I'm going to choose that one. Mark account for closure. And I think that now we are done. It will be terminated without the option to recover after 60 days. In this case, I'm just going to click off done. If you want to recover again, this account, you just have to sign in and then you will be able to recover your account. So Microsoft account, reopen the account. It will show you this information. Do you want to reopen? You just click reopen account and then you will be again signed in on your Microsoft account. All right, so that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you like this video and hopefully it will help you to make your IT life easy. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish to you all the best and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.